Capture the objective. Securing B. Securing Charlie. What is up guys, it's your man Evil Life Drake here coming at you with another video on Infinite Warfare. Now today's video, we talking about this auger variant. Now you guys know I don't like the auger. I never use the auger. I've just it's, it's just not for me. I know it's easy to use and that's why I don't like using it. I'd rather use the raw than use it. But this variant, this is not like any other variant of the auger. And when you hear people say that, you probably think, oh man, this auger is awesome. Hell no, that's not the case. This auger is... A four to five shot kill, and there's been several times while using this gun, I didn't try to use it, thinking that I was finna three shot somebody, and I get smacked. I don't even know how I outgun this guy. You, now you see me outgun a guy with a cyclopean, right? But this gun sucks so badly, even with my aim being on point, I can't outgun somebody with a freaking pistol. Look, how, how, bro, how? It wasn't even my aim either. Typical game. Look at it. Look at it. My man was lagging, so he basically never got hit. If that was the regular auger, it would have been a wrap. But because it's this trash that they... And here's what makes me the most angry about it, right? So, I wouldn't even have tweaked. Because, you know, everybody used to complain about the auger. Man, the auger's so OP, it takes no skill to use. Okay, boom. I thought they would have probably did something with the three-shot kill range. Maybe lowered it. Who the hell knew that their way of listening to the community was making a variant that just takes the three-shot kill range away completely? Now, I'm not a fan of auger. You know, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I just feel like it's a noob weapon. You know, you walk around a corner, you spray and pray with this. If you're using it, if you're using a regular auger, spraying and praying is the way to go. With this variant, since it already starts off shooting fast, spraying and praying really ain't gonna do you too much. It's gonna pretty much like kick up a lot. But yeah, you know, I'm using the Sally character. I ain't gonna lie. I like, I, I like the fact that they brought these zombie skins in the game. It's funny because I got the Sally faster than I got the actual auger itself. I actually haven't got that pistol yet, and I don't know if I'm finna waste my keys on trying to get that trash either. It's only a rare, so am I really missing out on much? But, um, another thing that kind of been irritating me, I ain't gonna lie to you. Today, you know, they gave us the new challenges, right? I don't like backing out of lobby, but I had to back out of so many lobbies today trying to do my challenge. You know, I don't allow people to get streaks up, usually. The most some, some, somebody might get is, like, what, a UAV or a counter? Or something like that. But, you know, my challenge was destroy 10 streaks. So I had to go out my way to actually try to shoot people's streaks now. So I had to actually allow people to kill me because every other lobby I've been in, today the game want to be nice and give me all the sweats on my team. Usually I got to play against them, but today is different. So yeah, man, I done had to go from lobby to lobby because I want to destroy streaks. It's, it's, it's not funny. It's not funny. And I'm not finna even lie to you either, man. For them, for, for this to be kind of basically like one of the few last weeks of Infinite Warfare, I'm kind of disappointed, man. First, they give us this underwhelming ass, overhyped ass auger that I could have sworn I thought was going to be a god tier weapon when I heard that it was automatically shooting fast. This shit is not god tier at all, boy. This shit is trash, okay? And I know it might sound weird. It's an auger, so you know it's still good, but this is not, this is not your, you know, Ring around the mill auger. I mean, look at this. I got outgunned by a VPR. I don't care if he if like steal, bro. How? That makes zero sense to me. But you know what? I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm looking forward to Call of Duty World War II. It's coming up, and I ain't gonna lie to you. I would definitely have videos as soon as the game come out. I might even do something different this year. I might I might even do a story mode walkthrough, and I never do that. But but that's how much I'm kind of ready for that game. I'm not going to overhype it like everybody else. Because, you know, this gameplay coming to the end. But I just want to let y'all know, man. I've, I've enjoyed Infinite Warfare. Infinite Warfare has probably been, like, one of my favorite futuristic Call of Duties. And I used to like Black Ops 3, but I can't play that trash now. It's too pay to win for me. This, this game is far from pay to win. Hell, in reality, it's pay to get bullshit like this gun. But, um, yeah, I'm coming towards the end of the video. And, uh, yeah. You know? Just want to let you guys know that I think... Maybe this might be my last Infinite Warfare video. With all that being said, guys, my name's Evil Andre. Smacking Lobbies is my hobby. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I might post another video in the future, but for now, this is my last one. See you guys in Call of Duty World War II. Peace.
I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man.